Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It's breakfast time here at Sophie and Henry's apartment. They are reminiscing over their cereal. What about the beautiful wedding day that they had and the most marvelous time they had on their honeymoon to Ninjago City? Oh, Henry, our wedding was such a lovely day. Did you see that Emma caught the wedding bouquet? Isn't that funny? <laughs> <laughs> so funny. My favourite part was lying in the cherry tree at Ninjago City. We were so lucky we didn't fall out. It was such a beautiful night, wasn't it? It was the loveliest night. Oh, Henry, I feel really faint. I, so I'm going to pass out. Oh, I don't know what's suddenly come over me. Oh, goodness, Sophie, you do look very pale. Here, come and sit on the couch. I'll get you a nice pot of green tea. Oh, thank you, Henry. Oh, gosh, my head. Oh, I do feel very strange. I wonder what's happening with me. I don't normally feel like this. Here we go, Sophie. A nice fresh pot of green tea and I've added some mint in. I know you like mint in your green tea. Oh, I really do. Oh, this should help. Oh, oh no, 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 I'm gonna vomit. Oh. oh my goodness, Sophie, Sophie. What is wrong, you poor thing? Sophie, oh, oh, you sound terribly bad in there. Can I help? Sophie, you okay? Oh, I feel terrible. Oh, oh, Sophie, you look terrible. I'm taking you to the doctor. No arguments. I think that's probably a good idea. Maybe I picked up some horrible stomach bug in Ninjago City. Oh, I feel terrible. Well, Henry and Sophie hurried off to see Dr. Patel and to find out what she thought might be wrong with Sophie. Thank you for seeing us on such short notice, Doctor. Sophie was just vomiting and vomiting and I'm so worried about her. All right, Sophie. Well, if you would just like to lie back, I'll have a little look at you and we'll see if we can sort out what the problem might be. So you be nice and comfortable, I'll have a look. All right, everything here looks fine. Oh, that's unusual. Oh, I might just go and get a needle for a blood test. Be right back. And don't panic. It's just a perfectly standard blood test if you just Breathe in now and the blood's taken. Good girl, that wasn't hard, was it? Let me go over here and I shall test this blood and I'll have a little look and see if it tells me what I suspect might be going on. Yes, yes, it's as I thought. Well, Sophie and Henry, the good news is Sophie is not sick at all. She's actually pregnant. What? I'm pregnant? She's pregnant? Well, this was the best news that Sophie and Henry could possibly have hoped for. How far along am I, Doctor? You're five months pregnant, Sophie. I'm surprised you're not showing it all yet. Really, you should be starting to show that baby bump, well, any second now. <laughs> Whoa, well, that was quick and surprising. And now that Sophie and Henry know that they have a new little arrival in their way, they rushed off to get everything they were going to need, leaving Dr. Patel in absolute amazement over the super fast arrival of Sophie's baby bump. Meanwhile, back at Sophie and Henry's apartment, they are busily moving in all of the equipment they're going to need, a new baby cot, Excellently stamped in there, Henry. Oh, and Henry's off to get something else. <gasps> and a teddy and a baby bottle. Oh, Henry, the teddy is so cute. Oh my goodness, why am I crying? I don't know why I'm crying. This is very strange. I'm going to go lay down. <laughs> why am I crying? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, uh, I've got some pizza. Maybe eating something will make you feel better. Oh my goodness. the cheese and the oh, oh, I feel so much better now. I'm gonna have a lovely lie down. Thank you, Henry. And Henry realized that Sophie was going to be wanting a lot of pizza during this pregnancy. So for the next few months, Henry kept Sophie dutifully supplied with lots and lots of fresh, hot, yummy pizza. And Sophie's bag, all packed for the hospital, waited patiently at the door for the arrival of the big day. Play that one again, Henry. The baby's really kicking hard. It must like that one. Actually, oh no, hold on. That's not just kicking. Ow, oh, that really hurts. Henry, I think it's time. Now? Oh, right. Come on, quick, quick, let's go. I'll call the ambulance. Now, you may have noticed that in his rush, Henry forgot to take something reasonably important. 
Oh good, here he is. He's back again. Well done, Henry. Now you hurry back off to Sophie. Here comes the ambulance and it looks like Olivia is on duty today. She has loaded Sophie into the back being ever so careful. Sophie's still got her piece of pizza so she's not going to be hungry on the way to the hospital. <laughs> Alright, quick. Everybody's loaded up. Off we go to the hospital. This baby is coming. Olivia has phoned ahead and Dr. Patel is ready to receive Sophie. Here we go out of the ambulance and the two of them can take her up up to the birthing suite here we go good girl sophie you're staying so calm it's not going to be very long until you have got a beautiful new baby to hold in your arms olivia if you'd like to get the suite ready now i think yes here we go good girl here we are, Mr. Darlington. You have a beautiful baby boy. Oh, he's so beautiful, my son. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There's something else. Just a moment. Just a moment, please. Just wait. Well, this is a surprise. You have another baby boy. You have twin sons. Twin boys? Oh, my babies. I'll teach you soccer and how to play catch and how to do your mother's hair. Oh, my beautiful boys. And you also have a baby girl. How about that, Mr. Darlington? Triplets. Well, what a surprise for Sophie and Henry. Three babies when they thought they were only having one. Three times the joy. Three times the cuteness. Oh, and three times the nappies. <laughs> A perfect little ready-made family and don't they look so happy. I think it's time to move Sophie and Henry and these three beautiful babies down to the maternity ward. Oh Henry, aren't they just adorable? Knock knock! I hear there are triplets to be welcomed! Olivia is the first visitor but now that the news is out everybody wants to see the new Darlington babies and everybody's wondering what their names are going to be. Maybe they could name this one Andrea after me. No, I don't think so Andrea. There's already one Andrea in Heart Lake City. So many visitors. The doctor has come to tell them all that visiting time is over now. So everyone has to give the babies one last kiss and off they go so that Sophie and Henry are left in some peace and quiet to enjoy their new babies. Oh, don't they look so cute. Oh, they're snugged into the crib. I don't think they quite fit. <laughs> Well, the time has come for the Darlington family to leave the hospital and see what life is going to be like with all of these babies. I think it's going to be sweet and adorable and absolutely full of noise. <laughs> but they do seem to have a problem here. They have three babies and only one crib. So we're going to have to renovate the next floor to fit in this suddenly bigger than expected family in the apartment blocks. So in the meantime, they're all just going to have to snuggle in on the family bed, which is what you do when you got babies anyway. I hope they get some sleep. Now, if you would like to see how we continue renovating this apartment, make sure you subscribe and these babies don't have names yet. So it is up to you to leave names in the comments to see what the new baby Darlingtons will be called. This is so exciting. See you soon.